Okay, this is a video showing how to play this crazy deck I brewed built around Drawn Secrets and Arclight Phoenix. Um, I've had a few of my favorite streamers try the deck out and nobody understands how to play the deck when they first see it. So I'm just going to run it through a queue and see how it goes. Uh, I'm still working on the sideboard and I'm considering minor tweaks to the main deck. Uh, basically the flex slots are the two shocks, the selective snare, the two beacon bolts. And they could be anything between different number of copies of those cards, an extra land. Um, I cut an Archimedia from the deck a while ago. Uh, I added the fourth Cannonade recently because Celestia is really easy with it and really hard without it. Um, the best cards in the sideboard are the f seven black discard spells. Um, but we're basically a mono blue deck in game one. Um, so I'm just going to jam the queue and see what happens. Here it goes. So basically, we're always hoping to have Drown Secrets on turn two. It's I think of it as Bitter Blossom with Fairies when that deck was in standard. Um, it's a two mana enchantment that if you have it on turn two, you're drastically more likely to win the game. If you don't find it in your opening hand, you, you have a deck full of cantrips to try and find it by turn four. And if you play it by turn four, you can usually reanimate a couple Phoenixes by turn five. And against aggro decks, you're using them to block against non aggro decks, you're trying to grind out an advantage by getting them back every single turn of the game. Alternate win con against slow or control decks is getting two drawn secrets in play over the course of a long game and eventually milling them out. But you don't have to be aggressive about that, you're always milling yourself. This sounds fine, no drawn secrets, but we're on the play so we're going to have a little more time to dig. Uh, there's a lot of ways to discard the Arclight Phoenixes and Creeping Chills that you draw through Radical Ideas and Chart of Course. So, it stinks to draw a Creeping Chill because you don't get to use its effect, but it's okay that you drew a dead card. And sometimes the game goes along, you just need to gain 3 life from a 4 mana sorcery, or burn them out, or cast a spell to get back Phoenix. But mostly you just discard them. So we're going to opt. We're looking for John Secrets. Um, I don't think we'll keep a land, even though we do want to find our third one. Just because next turn, we're going to try to high roll the John Secrets, but otherwise we have Discovery to dig if we don't find land by then. Celestia. So in game one, we might have to struggle. It's just going to be a race, if they're the token style deck. Alright, at this point we will keep lands, so that'll be fine. I could Radical Idea, actually. Um, I like that better, because if we find a land naturally, um, we get more selection with our discovery, and then we have a radical idea in the bin to start putting these phoenixes down. But next turn we're going to have to find third land number three at all costs. Amara. So now we would like to draw a shock. Oh. Okay. Draw. Alright, we found the land. Uh, I'm leaning towards playing this and leaving open red mana. Main phase. Because we can cast opt either way, but we might find a shock. And the auto tap loves to tap the red mana first. Alright, well we get to mill two things. Still might find shock. Mm, we found opt. Take action. Alright, still no drown secrets. Um, Next turn we can theoretically cast two Radical Ideas and then turn five getting back Phoenixes. But that might not be enough in this game. District Guide is stock in these lists, but I'm really happy they play it against this type of deck because it really slows them down. Oh, 
It's a good card, but just can't afford it right now. Oh, I wanted the upkeep stuff still, but it always leaves. Alright, Charter Course is really nice. We'll start with that. It's stronger than Radical Idea from a mana perspective. Okay, one Phoenix down. Um, we're gonna have. Well, we can get back Phoenix next turn. So we're just gonna Radical Idea to put it in the bin this turn. Um. We're still not doing that much. We're gonna have two. F oh wait, we have three. Oh yeah, we milled one from discovery. So we're getting three phoenixes back every turn for the rest of the game, most likely. So that could be good enough. We'll see. They likely have conclave tribunal for one of them. The stack uh, would really appreciate green mana being a standard, like Simic, uh, because. Destroying enchantment effects like Seal Away and um, Conclave Tribunal. But also cards like Nature Spiral and uh, Recollect would be huge in this deck if you could get back drawn tickets from the graveyard. Uh, but alas, that does not exist yet. I also wish there was a card like Gaia's Blessing that didn't have the complete shuffle your library back in effect. So this I like this Grixis build for current standard, but I'm definitely gonna experiment with other colors once future set com future sets come out. Basically model blue splash, whatever other guilds exist. Okay, our opponent could have March of the Multitudes or something. Oh, we found Drowned Secrets. It's an awkward turn to find it because we already have a plan for this turn. Um. Well, we're always going to opt this turn. So I'll start with that. Do we want to save two life? Uh, I don't think so. It's close though. Would we prefer to mission briefing and radical idea plus discovery? Not really. It'll be more flexible later. So we'll just lead on discovery. We could still find shock. Oh man, these key cards are coming at the wrong time. I don't. I'm, I think we don't have time for two drown secrets probably. But I'll you know, just bend that. Shock would be the highest roll. Oh, that could actually be useful next turn. So we need two mana. We'll just do this, and we're not going to attack at all. Oh, <laughs> the, the sequencing is in, is really awkward in this game. I mean, we're facing down two, four, five, six, so maybe we do need to get a, an attack in. Um, we could have a card like Settle the Wreckage right now. Um, these are just soldiers, elf scout, elf cleric. Hmm. I, th I like attacking with one and see what happens. Okay, hit, they had a stop on. I could have uh, figured that out maybe. Or no stops on. If they attack, we happily trade because they're coming back every turn. I need the upkeep stop. Anytime you have mission briefing in hand, you gotta make sure the upkeep stop's on. It likes to fall off. These are all different creature types, sadly. Selector Snare works best against History of Benalia and random other combo decks. Um, <coughs> if we had Shock Up, we would kill our own Phoenix, but. Oh well. We get to kill the Amara finally. Two, three. Okay, that's fine. Um, we have to try and combo kill our opponent at this point. Um, do I do I have mana to drown secrets? I could select a snare for one. I can shock. I can mission briefing opt. So I'll just draw. Oh, that's so bad. We needed that in the deck. 
Now I can't combo kill. Okay. Well. One, two, three, four, five, six. If they have flourish, we're probably dead. Seven damage in play. So if I can't beat that card, because I could have two blockers, maybe three, and that would be three, six, nine. So we'd have to hit a chill. Well, I can shock something. I can bounce three soldiers, shock. One, two, three, four, five. I can only bounce two soldiers and play another spell. I think I'm going to shock. Mission briefing shock. I don't really think this fully through. Oh. Main, I guess. Okay, so blue, blue, mission briefing. Uh, I guess we'll target Sapperling, hoping to bounce all the soldiers next turn. I can't really afford the two life. The lands have just been awkward. So now if he has Flourish, we do live at two. And then we can select a snare. This game has been tough. It's been uh, a lot of small small decisions. Drawing the two creeping shows is sad, but it's fine. We would have gone for a combo kill last turn if we had drawn zero creeping shows to this point. Or, I mean, if we didn't kill our opponent, we would have gained enough life to survive. Alright, so they had the card we thought they'd have. We're going to kill the Sapperling, and we might as well trade with the Soldier, so it saves us a mana on Selective Snare. Well, I mean, we had to block to survive, but... Okay, so Selective Snare is three mana. We have three left. Um, so I'm going to start with probably dr Discovery. Oh, I could have. Uh, I want the land. This deck is pretty mana hungry, which is why I, I should add a land probably. Okay, so I can select a snare and a radical idea. Um, soldiers. Uh, I guess I'll radical idea first. Okay, well, we found an extra land. I'm going to sell three cards and a lot of life, so... <coughs> it's it's going to be hard to finish this game off quickly enough. So, now we're looking for cards like Mission Briefing, Beacon pull in the graveyard, shocks. Um, <coughs> we're fine with. We can just block that if we have to. Alright, we finally have time to play our drown secrets. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we are going to play a radical idea this turn. Just guarding steam vents. We could cast the Creeping Chill, but we can save it to try and get back Phoenixes, so I guess we'll not just save it. I was thinking of casting it that turn, which is why I played it in that order, but... Ooh. Alright, now we need to find the Beacon Bolt. We're hoping our opponent attacks. Alright, now we get to trade. Anytime we can trade Phoenixes, it's a good thing for us. Now if we play Dispersal, our opponent gets the option, so it's less good. Well, that stinks. We have to play Creeping Chill to stay alive. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We only really need one land in hand for Jumpstart. It's odd because I always seem like I'm struggling for lands in the early turns and then I get mana flooded like this sometimes in the late game.
Or if, if we hit any spell, it changes into more spells, because Drown Seekers will hit Radical Ideas. Well, I guess there's only one left. But Beacon Bolt counts as well. Um, and, like, Discovery chains into more Discoveries and stuff like that. <coughs> I probably could have put us to one if they used their mana. Oh, okay. Well, we're in trouble. Alright. Fun times. Alright. Four cannonades. And I actually like the auto in this matchup. I'm not sure if four is right. Shock is just replaced by cannonade. I have two beacon bolts in the deck right now, and I didn't find any. That's annoying. Um, Selective Snare is fine. Um... It might be the cut though. I can shave creeping chill. How many cards is this? I like this layout for counting for sideboarding. Um alright, so we need beacon bolts for the shell eyes, sadly. And it's fine against Loxodon, so I'll leave both in, but I don't need the third one. It's possible a fourth auto ratio is too much. We just want access to that effect with mission briefing. I can cut a radical idea. I haven't fully figured out this matchup sideboarding, so bear with me. I j the reason I like the auto ratio is because Night Bottom is so good against us. I don't want to trim too much more of the blue spells, but I'm starting to lean towards a radical idea. And it seems crazy to cut a mission briefing. I don't want to cut too many of the discard outlets. I guess just the last creeping chill. It could have been selective snare too, but bouncing tokens is good. With four fiery cannonades, though, we might not, we might just not need that redundancy. We'll see how this goes. Okay, been a pretty bad hand. Okay, this is a good hand if we can find our land. All right. So turn three, we're gonna try to opt into land number three and play Thought Erasure, and from there we have pretty good odds of winning. So this is a strange matchup. You don't normally board in discard spells against aggro decks. But they're sort of like a combo deck, or an aggro combo deck, in the sense that they're trying to build a giant wide board and play cards like Venerated Loxodon and March of the Multitudes. Um, but like I said, the Thought Erasure is mostly just for Night of Autumn. Okay. Let's go. That upkeep stop is not friendly. Uh, I guess I want the black man available in, the, in, in this particular spot. Alright, two looks out of land. Two more looks. <laughs> oh, okay, I got one. We're in the game still, but we had to burn two of our best one mana spells. So, it won't be mill. Nothing helpful. Yet. It's a pretty nice ramp spell right there. Alright, we pretty much have to uh, cannonade now. Ugh, missing lands is so sad. We're just going to do it so they can't convoke. Beacon Bolt is effectively murder at this point. Alright. 
What am I just thinking about that? We found a land. Um, we could take some damage if we want. I'm gonna start with a radical idea. Cause we have to start doing something. Alright, we hit a phoenix. So now we have a game plan. Shalai, District Guide, and Seal Away. We have Beacon Bowl for Shalai. Uh, it's weird because usually we don't take the Seal Aways because we can play around them. But in this case, we might just want to kill our opponent. And since we have Beacon Bolt. Oh man, that's tough though. I feel like this decision is gonna make or break the game. I'm gonna take the seal away and hope that they don't draw more Shalai type cards. No. Graveyard. Alright. So it's still not likely we can get back Phoenix next turn if we beacon bolt. Uh, but we can start casting more blue spells. Or are we gonna die? Two, four, five. No. This is the kind of scenario where I wish I didn't board out the creeping chills, so maybe that was a mistake, I'm not sure. Alright, we're just gonna pass. We'll be at four. It's in the tank. We used to have an Archimibo, which could be a blocker in this spot, but we'll just take the damage. I'd be happy about it. So they're going to have a 1 1 token after all our prior our candidate. Or we can just play it on their turn. I do think we need to keep cycling, discarding, I mean milling ourselves. Oh, uh, we actually needed that land, I wasn't thinking properly. So we might have just punted the game. So we need six mana to do the things we were planning to do. Now it's looking like we'll just get back Phoenixes, I guess. But yeah, I really threw that a little bit. I could bounce trust on it. Yeah, I wasn't thinking clearly when I played that. Okay. Four mana. Doesn't help us. Oh. Uh, I'm just dead now, I think. One, two, three, four. Ouch. Oh, I punted this one. Alright. Sad. I'm not used to talking on camera, on microphone wise, while I play magic. All right, zero one. That's how the deck works. It's a potato. All right, another mediocre hand.
Dinosaurs, interesting. Well, Selective Snare will probably be good against this deck. Pretty easy chart of course turn. Alright, we're getting a little flooded. We need the upkeep stop for mission briefing. I don't think we'll do it turn three. Sadly we have nothing for turn three right now. Oh, that's a pretty good card. That's probably the main reason to play dinosaurs. Okay, radical idea is fine. Alright, now we need the upkeep stop because we're going to upkeep mission briefing for charter course, most likely. If we find a discovery, we'd probably play that instead. I'm just happy we found something to cast this turn. Alright, our opponent's still not on the board. Are they mono green? Because they have had choices for Lance. Okay, interesting. This is a matchup where I think Beacon Bolt's good. I don't know, I've never played against dinosaurs, but... Alright, upkeep. Mission briefing. Stop tapping red. Oh my god. <laughs> Auto tap every time. Okay. Don't really want to draw those. Boom. So we can probably... We can get back Phoenix on turn 5. I'll just play Island. Uh, I'll probably just card Creeping Chill. Wow, we have so many lands. But we don't need Creeping Chill. Alright, so next turn we could Radical Idea, Radical Idea, Selective Snare. Get back two Phoenixes. <coughs> Follow it up with Beacon Bolts to stay alive. As we race. I'm not sure what dinosaurs plays, so don't really know what to play around. Oh. That looks like a good beacon bolt target to me. Elder Dinosaur Human Druid. Okay, so since we found Drown Secrets, I'm happy to just beacon bolt. Because next turn we go off better. Sub six. Four. Ah. Um Ah, uh, that's tough. Let's see. I could play really risky and just hope. <coughs> so many attacks. Next all the top card they make. Without paying their mana cost. Wow. I can select a snare if he hits his own dinosaur, but ugh, that's really powerful. Also, I just want to get phoenixes out now. I could use them as blockers, but I'm not guaranteed to have. I think I'm just gonna snare now. Elder, I always bounce elders. I don't know if this is right, but uh, it seems dangerous to leave that in play. And every turn, we gain way more options for getting stuff back. Like, we need to find any 2-mana spell or 1-mana spell in the top 3 cards in order to go off next turn. But if we don't now, we can rely on Beacon Bolt. So, yeah, now we can just cast Beacon Bolt, and it's fine. Oh, shock, I like that. So, one, two, three yeah. spells. So, we'll start with the radical idea. Please don't tap red. You got a phoenix. Nice. No, I don't tap try to screw us over this, this turn. I'm not going to trust it. Uh, so the red, the burn spells have proven to be pretty good in this game. All right, Phoenix animation coming. Can probably kill next turn. They don't have anything. Just need to find a creeping chill. Which there's two left in thirty-four cards. Eh, maybe it's not probable, I guess, but it's likely. 
or the last phoenix, right? So three, three and thirty-four cards do it. Okay, we're happy that they just wasted a card. Uh, I guess I'll start with Radical Idea. Oh, well, I can't cast three spells. Um, I'm not gonna discard that. I'll just kill their thing. If I hit the creeping shit, I'll be like, oh. Uh, a, lot, a mistake I saw a lot of players making when they played this deck without knowing how to play it is they cast Arclight Phoenix too often. To me that's a last resort, because 4 mana for a 3-2 haste is not good enough for standard. Um, Selective Snare was great. Shock is good against their little ramp creatures, but I don't know that that's good enough. Uh, I mean, they, we, we only saw the one that's also a 3-3. Three, three. So, since we have more one mana spells, since we're leaving Selective Snare in, I'm fine with that. Uh, I kind of want Thought Erasure. Like, a ramp deck is usually weak to discard, right? Seems like I've worn Thought Erasure in every matchup, so maybe I should consider re tweaking the deck. Um, I like to trim one Radical Idea. It's, it's best against grindy matchups. I'm trying to find one more cut for two thought erasures. It's possible to creeping chill every time. Uh, I'm gonna run this. All right, our opponent isn't killing us from curving out. They're killing us in huge chunks of over-the-top elder dinosaur damage. So the life gain from creeping chill is not as relevant. This is a hand that looks keepable, but I don't really think it's worth it. I think a 6 would be better on average. Because this hand really just has discovery. It doesn't have a way to discard this, and it's already a mulligan. So we're just going to take another shot at Drawn Secrets, and we hit it. Uh, basically, we want any blue spells, so sure. I can see this hand running out of gas, because it has zero cards that say draw a card. But it will also self-mill pretty well, and stay alive pretty well. Don't have red mana yet. But we don't necessarily need it that soon. No. If we find any card like Chart of Course or Discover or Opt, uh, I feel like we have a pretty good hand. Don't want the Drown Secret, I mean the Creeping Chill. We already have a card we want to discard, so now we're two discards behind. It's possible I'm supposed to board all of them in a matchup like this, but I like having the option of life gain. Still trying to work that part out. Like, against really grindy decks, it's easy to board out all four, but against a deck like this, I'm not sure. I'm not too scared of that. We are scared of our hand being pretty bad. I'm not going to do anything this turn. After my little spiel about Phoenix, I might just cast him on turn 4. I'm not going to cast Creeping Chill because that doesn't do anything. I mean, we have one discard in the form of Bacon Bolt. But that's several turns away. If our opponent plays like Rip Draw Raptor, we'll just double bounce. Alright. 
all right well we could take six and then triple bounce so let's just start beating down I'm gonna go for it it might be a little greedy but that's why we have a clock in play so we're actually doing something like when we start beacon like this will fill our graveyard for beacon bolt and then we can start like we're setting our opponent back by three turns worth of mana basically assuming they play like a five mana they are going to draw a card and get a land I guess so if they have that specific five drop but we can let our opponent have some fun this is all about tempo so I don't care about the card as much I care more about the land actually so we have to use four mana bounce our board get in there Alright. Land, I don't mind. These are all dinosaurs, right? Yeah. I've never used it for more than three. I've used it for zero, one, two, and three. Oh, we hit a phoenix. It's kind of lucky. I don't know how we can trigger it yet, but. I mean, we're still just looking for cheap cantrips, which we've found zero of yet. So they have six, maybe seven mana. They, so they could cast two spells this turn. <laughs> we can beacon bolt the biggest one for one. <laughs> we missed on those. I'm just saying I need a blue spell to be in this game. We could even... We have a two turn clock if we play Phoenix and then Creeping Chill. So we might just hope that they don't have... Oh. Okay. That's a good card when it draws a card. Pardon me, had to go. Okay, we found Mission Briefing. Currently hit Selective Snare, which we actually do want to play. Uh, yikes, this hand's so awkward. I think I want to just play Phoenix and take five. And the next turn, Mission Briefing and Upkeep for a double Selective Snare. This is a weird game. I've never played one like this. We're playing like Tempo of Cast Phoenix. Alright, what's the coming to play effect? What just happened? It says haste. I wish I could read the card that just killed me. I have to look it up on Gather. I have no idea what that card does. I've sold a lot of copies of it. Gishath. Tremble, Vigilance, Haste. Oh, <laughs> you get to put all the dinosaurs to play. That's a cool card. Eight mana. Alright, well now I know about that one. Um, I want another Thought Erasure. That game was a strange one. Got kind of a radical idea. Could be risky. I think I'd rather keep three radical idea and cut one charter course. Just so that if we're self milling we have more chances. But we have three beacon bolts, I guess. So I'm actually fine with two. Oh, I can cut the creeping chills. That seems fine. Alright, we're like full combo right now. We're on the play, so. I didn't know I was gonna die all of a sudden.
Okay, if this hand doesn't work, then this deck is no good. I'm calling it. Uh, we're planning to opt on turn three. Or if we find a way to cast Phoenix on turn four, we'll do that. That would be like Mission Briefing or another one mana spell. The Selector Snare is a one mana spell, but it's so valuable in this matchup, I think we'd rather just use it for X equals two or more. I played a lot of dinosaurs on Magic Arena when Ixalan was the only set. It was like the only good deck at that time. It's pretty fun though. I like Enrage as a mechanic. Alright, uh, our opponent's really slow, I think. I just want to draw random cards, basically. Like, I'm not looking for anything specific other than to cast blue spells. Like, cards like, okay, so, we can get back Phoenix's next turn. I, it, I know we don't have any yet, but we're likely to have one. So I'll just opt next turn. I don't know if that's right. Because I'm not using a mana. Uh, if I happen to draw Mission Briefing off the first opt, I want to cast it, I think. So I'll do this on upkeep. Bacon Bolt in the graveyard. Don't need that. We're just looking for phoenixes. Um, I'll just draw now. Okay, that one's good. Cast that one. It's basically mill four. Uh. We found zero, huh? That's sad. I'll still cast the opt. We have two more shots. And it's drawing a card. Oh man. Five cards. No phoenixes. We have plenty of gas, I think, so... I'm okay drawing that. So we went through 20... We went through 14 cards. To try and find at least a phoenix. We didn't this time, but... We're still fine with that. What the hell is this? Bear. Creature spells cost two less. Okay. We might just beacon bolt that. So, we can Thought Erasure. I could uh, chart a course, but I might just Thought Erasure beacon bolt. Let's Thought Erasure first, see what we're dealing with. Oh my. Okay, so they have four lands. With no red. That costs five. How big does this do? Ten damage. So I can kill a Gigantosaurus. Uh, can't kill two of them currently. Registrar Alpha. This deck does seem scary. Um... Since they can't cast the Registore Alpha yet. But I can just bounce Gigantosaurus all day. So I might be most scared of this card. Even though I can't cast it. I don't know. It's a tough one. Don't need lands. 
Okay, now what are we doing? So next turn we're gonna upkeep mission briefing, get back at least to Phoenix probably. They're in the bottom half of the deck though. Alright, they found the red mana. Or not. They don't play for mountain or something? Oh, they want to cast their dragon at sources, I see. Alright, so. Do we have a second mission briefing in the graveyard? Yes. Uh, so, we might need to find that land back that we discarded, silly. Alright, we're gonna surveil. Opt is good. Um, we don't need to draw it though, we can just uh, mission briefing into it. There's another beacon bolt. That's pretty good. Um, do we want to draw land? I guess. Because then next turn we can do more things. This turn we're just opting. Have we still found zero phoenixes? That's tilting. Maybe I shouldn't have kept the land. This is just a wasted mill. Ay ay ay. Alright, well, we're gonna mill our whole deck next turn. 19 cards, 4 phoenixes. Well, we're still gonna win this game, I think. But it's a little frustrating. Oh, upkeep stop. Nope, not in time. Alright, so Beacon Bolt kills that thing. And then we just need to cast 2 more spells. So we'll start with this. Gotta be careful not to move myself out, but still haven't found phoenixes. Alright, there we go. We're starting. We got one. Alright. We will chart ourselves a course. Okay. And we'll beacon bolt. Don't need drawn secret. Alright, we're gonna get back two or three phoenixes. I think two. Three, alright, good. That's helpful for racing. Uh, if our opponent plays Carnage Tyrant, we can't really deal with it. Uh, we took out all the chills, right? So we need to hit the last phoenix to kill them. But we can do that. Seven cards. We can cast. We have two blue spells that don't draw us a card. Happy about that. <laughs> Alright, we can just cast that. Oh no, we need to get back the other phoenix, so... Uh... We don't need to mill ourselves anymore though. Alright. I think that's the matchup we win every time just because of Beacon Bolt and Selective Snare actually. This card I lost every time. I've played two games of Momer on this platform and I've lost both of them on turn six to this card.
This deck would love if it could support white mana for Deafening Clarion. That would be so good in this deck. Oh, this hand would be so good on the play, but it's still good on the draw. But if it's a deck like Mono Red, we might still have trouble without a card like Chalk. Sacred Foundry tapped often means uh, Jeskai control in my experience, which I think is a really good matchup post board. Game one is tough. Could just be an aggro deck though. It looks like they're trying to pretend they're an aggro deck. At the very least. So we save the op to mill four on turn three. We can also play a tap lane if we want. Yeah, they are just guy. Alright, we need that upkeep stop. So, uh, they could easily counter our ground secrets, but we're just gonna jam it, I think. Um. I wish we didn't have to reveal that we're self milling before we play it, but they might be more scared of it if we were milling them. I mean, it's clearly the best card we have. Oh, a creeping chill. I forgot about this. No. Yeah, so we're sad our opponent had a counter spell. But it's okay. Opt. Uh we have a Phoenix. I can't quite go off next turn. I kind of have I saved stopped, but I didn't know I would have a Phoenix yet. I think I guess this is good against. I don't know. I usually don't keep radical ideas around. Draw. Alright, so we really want this Charter Course to resolve, actually. But instead, we could just radical idea, radical idea. We need the upkeep stop next turn for mission briefing. This looks like a Chemisher's Insight turn into Teferi. So I kind of like passing with mana open. On the other hand, chart of course is just better. And this leaves two mana open anyway. Yeah, that's fine. There's not that many cards we care about from them. It's just counter spells and Teferi, basically. Um, in the post board games, cleansing Nova for enchantments becomes more relevant. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments. So, we already have two Phoenixes. So, we're going to get at least a hit in with them right now. So, that's fine. It's not as scary on turn five, it's scarier when we have two in play. Okay, so upkeep mission briefing to filter our draw. Uh, oh, this is an awkward hand. We can mission briefing for a two mana spell and oh my goodness! Ouch! I just floated to blue and passed. I wish there was a confirmation that I didn't want to use the mana. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Alright, I just uh, time walked myself due to magic arena failures. I guess I'll get opt just to draw a card. That was horrible. Oh, I should have my opponent at 9 life right now. That's a huge difference. Well, at least I drew relevant cards off the random draw steps that I took by accident, but. Holy crap, what's that bad? I just clicked on a... Oh man, and the opgear stop is gone. <laughs> Alright, well we're just gonna cast some discoveries. We need a sixth land. Oh, otherwise we have to shock. Oh man, I have to be careful with the auto tap too. Um, fine with that.
So and now they have uh, settler wreckage open, so it's a lot worse. Kind of want to save this discovery slash dispersal. Oh, we're happy about that because now they they could have still have seal away sadly, but at least we get to attack with all phoenixes. No. So that'll be at eight. We have a shock, so it's basically two hits. We're tapped out though. Oh, lightning strike! We're ecstatic about that. We we're expecting seal away. So now we have an extra phoenix to deal with. Niv miss it. I think we can win through that. Oh, we drew creeping chill. Damn, the upkeep stop. If I had the upkeep stop on, I would have milled the creeping chill. This game has been a failure of Magic Arena platform mechanics. So let's see. If we can find one more Phoenix somehow, or one creeping chill. If I can cast a creeping chill. Alright, so. We can discovery. Oh, I didn't really read that card. That's fine, though. Uh, doesn't matter if he kills that, really. Uh... I think he's dead. I'm just making sure. He's playing Niv in a deck with planes. I don't know. I guess it's fine. Is there anybody that backfires on me? I don't think so. I do need this to resolve, but he has only a white mana. Alright, up a game against control. Feels good. <laughs> Despite our huge time walking over ourselves. Alright, we have those. So I'm going to leave one beacon bolt for the Div Mizzet type effects. Um, but I don't need more than that. Don't need Creeping Chill. Don't need Shock. Okay. So I could either leave in one Creeping Chill or one beacon bolt. Um... Cards like Lyra are actually a problem too, so maybe I'll just hedge. Like having no creeping chills is a little bit sad, but it's just you don't need it. It's, it's not how you win the game. You win the game by Phoenix recursion, and you don't really need the life gain. So I think this is the right build for sideboard games. All right, let's see. We're against Freebird. All right, we got the Drown Secrets. We have a mission briefing, but no black mana. There's a clear keep. Uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, now the upkeep stop works. But it goes away. I think uh, turn three onwards, I just need to make it a habit. Okay, so they could syncopate us, which would be really sad. This is where I wish I didn't have black mana available. But I'm just going to go for it. Okay, so our worst fears were realized. Hmm. It's really important that this Tritocorch resolves, 
So I'd rather not play it this turn. I'd rather play it on their insight turn. Uh, I have to decide if I want to filter the draw step. Uh, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen an empty graveyard with a radical idea before. Uh, still no black mana. I am just gonna lead with Drown Secrets. Hope it resolves. If it doesn't, we're taxing their counter spells pretty early. Alright, this is looking nice. They can cleansing Nova us, but then they're tapped out and we can get Phoenix back potentially. Because we have an upkeep stop. We're brilliant. Blink of an eye. That is not effective. We still got a mill two, and they cost us two mana later on. Um, still no one mana spell. We have access to duress in these games, which is a sweet one. Oh, okay. If we find black mana, we can mission briefing. All right, this is a big turn. We really need to find black mana, land, opt. Alright, this is an upkeep mission briefing type turn. I'm looking for a black mana. Oh, we have opt. I'm gonna keep opt. Oh, this is a tough one. I don't think we can afford that. Um, what's our plan? Chart a course? Oh. Could be duress. No, I think it should be charter course. I could also mission briefing again. I wouldn't have wanted to keep that up then. So basically, uh, I should have chosen the duress and then I could discovery. So I'm unhappy with how I played this, but um, this is now that now this becomes the highest upside play. Just need to find a land. I don't quite need that. Okay, I probably give up, which means I didn't have seal away. I mean, even if they did, we were still ahead. But, uh, yeah, I mean, even without the black mana early, we we're going to win the game in the long run because of the Alright, two and one. We lost round one to uh, some mana screw and mana flood issues. I think it's Lesnia. I mean, it is a hard matchup, but I think I'm learning it, and I think I have a realistic way to win it now. A lot of creeping chills. That sounds nice. We don't need that one. We're looking for just cheap blue cantrips, basically. Oh, this could be mono blue aggro. It's a matchup I'm like 50-50 on, I think. It really depends on their draw. Oh, it's not. Okay. Some kind of Demir Surveil thing. Well, we should be favored when we have turn 2 Bitter Blossom. I don't know. It's a pretty strong start. I could beacon bolt that hoping, hoping it works, but I think I'll just do that on turn 4 even though the mana doesn't work that well. Oh. Let's see. I think sticking chart of course is pretty good. If our opponent has counters, that's going to be tough. I could draw shock, that'd be nice. Don't tap like that. I need to have full control mode enabled to bluff a little bit.
Oh, I wish there was like an in between where I was just like, pretend I have shock in hand. It's a pretty good draw for our opponent. Um, shock is important just to kill this thing, but it also hits the other guys. I wonder if I guess Cannonade is good in this matchup. I've never played this before. Whoa! Our opponent is a boss. They're also playing Creeping Chill. Creeping Chill Mirror. Oh, what happened to my stops, man? Alright, so... I can win if that's just a 3-3. Three, three. Um... 2 damage. They could have... They can't have Sinister Sabotage. I need to start dealing with their board. Let's see how much damage it does. Probably 3. Ooh, nice. So it, that doesn't increase the beacon bolt damage, but I countered their creeping chill. <laughs> Alright. I got the upkeep stop. Let's see what happens next turn. I need a fifth land. I don't have a one mana spell in the yard. But mission briefing for charter course is gonna be good either way. I might just want to be bolt. <laughs> wow, our opponent is all in. I wanted to make a deck like that work, but I couldn't figure it out. I'm sure. I'm sure it's viable. I just didn't put in the effort. What did they surveil? Nothing. That's scary. Like one more surveil is really good for them. Mark Amoeba. I think I just need a bacon this turn. They're probably drawing a surveil card, right? Because they kept on top. Oh man, this draws awkward. Main. So, in theory, we're taking like six. If they just have bad surveil cards, and we can kill this. We're in business. Yeah, like that. So we're at 5 against the Narcomoeba. Uh, we have to be wary of Creeping Chill. I mean, I bet they, they're definitely running Enhanced Surveillance, which is sweet. I had that card in the first build of this deck as a 4 of, but it was just too much. I could see it being a 1 of. Oh no, I've keeps up. Okay, what do we want to do? I don't think I need to use mission briefing this turn. I only have one phoenix. So I can just bacon. If they have a counter, like we're dead, but what you gonna do? Cool. Selective snare. Okay. Illusion, skeleton wall. So we're not quite dead to a creeping chill. We'll be at one. These bacon bolts have been good. Oh, I need the upkeep stop. I wish it would just stay permanent. Got a mill, got a mill, got a mill. Hoping for creeping shells and phoenixes, obviously. I like mission briefing into shock, actually. So, blue, blue. Filtering our draw a little bit. I guess I didn't need to do that. Do I want those? No. Shock. Ok. 
Okay. Sure. Okay. Two phoenixes, I believe. One? Ah. Well, I'll get more next turn. Still want the upkeep stop. Alright, so what do we want to flashback this turn? could draw that. I need to see if we have another mission briefing still. Yes. So we do want to draw that one. That one. We'll draw the mission briefing. Then we'll cast this one. Keep milling. Got 20 cards left. Oh, creeping shell. That's a nice buffer. Oh, rare business. Alright, now we can just uh, do like. Uh, discover is the best one. Where is it? There's one. Main face. Um, we're gonna save this beacon vault for like a Doom Whisper. There's one more creeping to like a mill, right? So I'll keep going. Just draw that for next turn. Um. Animation. Oh, still just three. Oh, there's uh, there's another phoenix to hit. For some reason, I keep hitting it, but I keep thinking I had two phoenixes this time. Against this deck, when you patch their life total, they can't use the Doom Whisper as aggressively. A lot of our opponents give up when they're. I mean, I guess they were tactically dead, no matter what. Okay, let's think. Beacon Bolt is great. Shock would be great. Oh, Cannonade. Hmm. Cannonade might be too slow because there's things grow. But I want access to one. I have no idea. There's too many things. Select a snare. I don't think any of them have the same creature type. I need to look up uh, Thoughtbound Phantasm. It's a spirit. Uh, Demir Spiva. Insect. And the other thing's a fairy rogue. So, Selector Snare doesn't work that well. What is Doom Whisperer? Nightmare Demon. Alright, so we can board that one out. Maybe three shocks and one cannonade or something. Radical Ideas, Temple Negative. Maybe three beacon bolts too many. But it's just so important against Doom Whisperer. But I guess that was Thought Erasure. I'm kind of at a loss because I want every card. There's too many cards. I'm, I'm gonna have to crimp, trim Creeping Chill because it's all about managing their giant growers. Can I cut it entirely? I think I will. Play more like a control deck. Um, I don't know how many of these reds. Oh crap. Is time out? Oh man. I am struggling to get used to Arena. I almost punted a game to control with it. I just didn't sideboard when I have a really good sideboard plan. So I guess we're going to hope to get lucky. Uh, well, Selective Snare is the worst card in the deck in this matchup. I mean, it works as a two-minute bounce spell to reset their guy, but that's not what we want. We'd rather have a Thought Erasure. Alright. 
Lesson learned. Sideboard on time. I spent too much time Google or looking up creature types, I guess. But there was no warning that was obvious to me. Alright. Before I chart a course. We can get back Phoenix at will pretty much with this hand. Mission briefing plus one minute spell. Um, that is decent, but we're actually just happy that's not a spy bug, since we don't have an answer to it. Um, all of our cards are pretty similar. If I were them, I would take, like, Discover Your Mission Briefing. But, I guess Charter Course is the obvious good one, since it discards Phoenix. But we'll probably find more ways to discard. We boarded out one radical idea. I guess that makes sense. That's the most flexible card. Like in Modern. You always take the Snapcaster Mage when you can't decide. I have to make sure to discard the Phoenix on the left. Opt is nice. Um, I can't get back Phoenix next turn. So I'll probably Discovery and then just play a tap land. But on turn 4 I want to consider upkeep opt into Mission Briefing. Something like that. Alright, um, we may just want to selective snare their creature now. Narc Amoeba. Alright, Illusion, Spirit, draw. Great. Um, I'm gonna do it. It buys a lot of time, it seems like. Spirit. Alright, uh, we just want to find a card like Dot Erasure or Beacon Bolt before they can play Doom Whisperer. That's the card that's scary. These upkeep stops going away, it's just tilting me. Alright, they have three card left. Creeping Chill. The Narcomoeba and Creeping Chills just seem bad to me in a deck like that. But it seems to be working for our opponent this time around. Alright. We could opt into either Mission Briefing, Opt, or Shock. That's enough things that I'm gonna do it. No thanks. Drown secrets, huh? Alright. If they have Doom Whisperer, they can do it. Eight. Yeah, we would die. But we don't really have a way around that, right? I guess we could discover into shock. And that gives me a Phoenix. So it actually is worth doing. We're looking for shock or opt. There's three shocks, I believe. Alright. Not this time. We might be dead. Then I get the sideboard for game three. Alright, oh, I can't draw shock. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. My deck is just my main deck. So that's why I haven't drawn Thought Eraser. Alright, we're still alive. We can't even draw Cannonade. I was playing this game assuming I could draw cards that were in the sideboard. Still have a shot though. There's only one beacon bolt. Or actually there's two. Please up keep stop. Work. Okay. I should have just played the drown tickets last turn. If I remembered that there were only two shocks in the deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, we're just gonna go crazy next turn. 
we have four creeping chills available, so well, I mean three in the deck. So next turn we have a chance of getting a lot of life. If they can surveil, if they can cast a spell that surveils, we'll probably die. But there's nothing we can do about this game. I don't need the upkeep stop, but I wish it was there. Is there like a game setting? Full control, pass control. What'd they do? Oh, we're dead, right? Oh, no, they can't attack with the phantasm, so. 5, 6, 7, 8, so we're at 5. Alright. We have a small hope. Fairy rogue, spirit, insect, insect. We need to find a lot of things. That's a good start. My opponent even has a flying blocker, so it's unlikely we can kill them. Oh no. Okay, no those. Beacon bolt. I can't quite cast three spells yet. So I need a one mana spell or land. I wish there was a playable one mana jumpstart card. That would make this deck so much better. <laughs> I already hit grieving shells, but we just need to hit the, the straw step. Steam vents. Alright. So now we have blockers. So close to lethal. How many blockers do we get? Three? Alright, we're alive. If they have one removal, I'll take three, four, five. Uh, we can go for the kill next turn, I think. Find the fourth Phoenix. Find the last creeping chill. Yeah. Play Beacon Bolt on his Narcomoeba. Or whatever his blocker is. Could be no blockers. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, those things have menace. Forgot about that. So I might be dead. I need to have three blockers available. If they find removal, we're dead. And they just had three lux at removal. Looks like no. Four, five, six, we'll be at three. We'd be dead to a surveilled creeping chill. We do get to kill off a spy bug, but we have to kill our opponent on our turn, so. Five. Six, seven. Block. Five, six, seven. Yeah, that leaves us alive, I think. I hope they tap out for a Narcomoeba, right? Because then we can win. We need to find a land. Okay. Okay. Three Phoenixes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, start with this. Oh, main phase. Start with this. It's a close game. We get to mill so many cards. There's one Phoenix and one chill to mill. Alright, we hit the chill. So I think we win. We just need to find a land. Alright, we should. I think we win. I'll start with the beacon bolt. That was a sweet game. Our opponent could have played better, but I think we would have won either way. Uh, sure. 
Ooh, if they have the minus three minus zero card, <laughs> we're gonna lose. That's pretty funny. Since we failed to find the last Phoenix, it's in the bottom five cards. So, all right, we got there. Despite the fact that we didn't sideboard. That was sweet. All right, we're three and one with this deck. It's been a kind of weird ride. All right. Here goes. Don't like losing die rolls. Uh, sand is a bunch of nothing. I'll keep it. I don't know. I feel like I go back and forth on where to keep hands like this. Basically, a mulligan is another forty percent chance at a drawn secrets. I just let a chapel. Interesting. This is looking like a turn one opt to me. Looking for that drawn secrets. Oh, that's for control. Alright. We're going to have to hope to steal game one. The sideboard game should be better. My opponent has no idea what we're on yet. What we're on is mono lands. I think we'll just mission briefing opt at the end of their turn. Shock. We need cards like chart of course, or just filter through all these radical ideas. Mission Briefing Opt is not the best value because basically the Opt Scry doesn't work as well. But just against control decks is the way I like to sequence. Okay. Well, now we get value from the Opt. Um, all right. I'll just draw for turn. Okay. Um, could get Phoenix and play this turn at the expense of shock. So it's radical idea, opt shock. So we'll start with opt. That's a good one. This isn't the best game plan, but we're doing something at least. So if they want to capture inside there, take some damage. Obviously, this would be better if it was a duress. That'll be in the sideboard games. If they settle the wreckage, we're okay with that. Like, it's best case scenario, they just get one Phoenix, we get a land early on. They don't get the insight. Moment of Craving, we're really happy about. Because we did expend some effort to get that in play, but they traded a full card for it. Uh, we'll just draw. Okay. Uh, we're looking for a one mana spell, but we don't need to get Phoenix back this turn. 
Oh, man. I almost didn't want to cast this this turn. Could have just cast a radical idea on their turn. Uh, we need that card desperately. So we'll go. We'll go for a Phoenix next turn. They can play Teferi now, so we'll have to actually do stuff next turn. Like we need multiple Phoenixes. They don't have it. Okay. So we'll lead on Drown Secrets. If they have a counter, this is where they should use it. Yep, makes sense. Uh, now we get to probably resolve this charter course. Why does I want to tap like that? It never gets it right. Who does this buff black spells? I just want to play the worst spell, I think. Oh, they don't have double blue, so I'm going to play the best spell. I'm slightly at risk of running out of gas, but not that much at risk. What happened there? Did I only cast two spells or something? Oh, I cast Drown Secrets. <laughs> Oops. Alright, we'll do it again. Okay. Um, I think I'll just pass again. I want a radical idea on a turn where I'm realistically going to get back Phoenix. It's a close game. Comes down to whether they can draw some to fairy and chemistry's inside type cards. All right. Well, it looks like we could have gotten Phoenix back last turn. But we had no way to know that. Okay. So that's a good one for next turn. So right now, I just want to... Ah, uh, it's close. Is there a mission briefing in the yard? There is. So this turn I'd rather just radical idea. And then use a selective snare. If we have to. I wish Bacon Bolts had up to one creature. That was bad timing. So next time we're going to upkeep Mission Briefing into Mission Briefing into Charter Course. Have at least these two phoenixes available and four surveils. Ah, oh, shit, this was now. All right, we're still playing the grindy game though. Um, they've countered two drown secrets, so milling them is not looking likely this game. So we're still on the phoenix plan for now. Alright, let's see if they have another counter spell. Opt is good. I can draw that. Uh, there's no reason to tap red. Oh god, I almost did it again. Alright, oh yeah, just to be sure, I want to undo, undo. Main face. Okay. Oh. Wow. Guess I'm just keeping those. 
Uh, charter course. If they have a counter, they should have used it before. So. Play the drone secrets post combat. They have 44 cards. If we find our last drone secrets, so we can think about milling them. They had the counter all along. They have to have chemistry's insight then. No? Aren't they just gonna die to Phoenix? Okay. This looks like a turn where I just jam Phoenix and attack. <laughs> We're happy with that. Um, I think I'll attack for one. It looks like, I mean, our opponent was smart to be very concerned about drone secrets. True, Master. But it doesn't look like I have good answers to Phoenix. I'll cast an opt on my upkeep in case of mission briefing. Charter course is good. I'll draw that. Shock is bad. Oh well. No. Now I have to decide if I want to get back Phoenix. I think I'll just keep heading for three. Okay. Alright, now we can get back two of them next turn. Uh, we're still hoping our opponent doesn't draw uh, to fairy. How much is inside? The counter spells trading one for one is fine. Alright, so they finally hit one. So now they're pretty good on resources. If they don't play land, alright, so they have settle up. I don't think we're gonna play around it anymore. Oh perfect. So mission briefing. On upkeep. Having one thought erasure main would make this really easy. Alright, we'll draw the discovery. We'll put another mission briefing on the stack, on the snapback. Snapcaster can't chain itself. Main. Alright, what do we want to do with this? Uh, wow. I guess I want that. Uh, so I have three mana left. There was one card on top I wanted. I'm just going to opt and draw the drone secrets, but I got that island out of the way. Do I have any phoenixes exiled yet? One? From the Vraska's Contempt? Uh... Yes, man, that's fine. Keep one land in hand. Oh, three phoenixes. So I'll attack with two. So if he settles... Yeah, I should have played attacked with all three, because if he settles two of them, we're probably losing. So that was actually just bad. But it's looking fine now. They have three more draws. 
Hit settle. It's looking like a lot of the removal is non-settle options. I was trying to look up an Esper control list on like meta deck. It looks like they don't run it. All right, so oh, cause they're based black more for island force swamp on planes. Yeah. All right, Teferi comes down. We're hoping they play one removal on a phoenix. How many chills are there? One exiled. Alright, so I can realistically go for a chill. If I win game one against control, it feels really good. I have plenty of mana, so I'll lead with this. We just need to hit one of the chills to, like, almost certainly win. Okay. I mean, I could disperse all. Is that worth it? I think not. Eleven cards. Three of them are relevant. Surveil. There we go. They have six mana, so if they settle, they'll have two mana, and I can just try to mill myself to. kill them with Creeping Chill. So I'll just attack. Alright, I'm glad I attacked that way. Are they dead? They have to have another removal, and then they're dead. Oh, I could have shocked my phoenix, but... Alright. Okay. Four of those guys. Three of those guys. Get rid of shock. Selective snare. Creeping chill. Now, the question is, do I want any number of beacon bolts? Um... Looks like some lists run Chromium. Which Beacon Ball doesn't do much against. Um, profane Procession, wow. Vona. I think I'll leave one as a hedge and one creeping chill. The creeping chill is almost irrelevant, but it's uh yeah. yeah. I feel pretty confident. The life game port doesn't matter, but it helps come out sometimes. Or I mean burn them out. The creeping chill is really in the deck as a life gain against aggro. Um, the combo, the combo portion is like magical Christmas land, but you don't need it to happen. Uh, we have the auto racer. This hand is looking for radical ideas and chart of course, but we're happy to have phoenixes in the top half of our deck, so we'll do it. I think I'll play Watergrave untapped. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna opt for land, um, and I need the black mana on turn two anyway. Fourth thought erasure. Uh, I want to hit a card like Unmoored Ego. So, like, who knows if people play that, but I'm just going to get the thought erasure down as soon as I can. Oh, wow. Alright, never mind. We're playing that card. So, we're still hoping for a third land in the top cards. Okay, nice. So, let's see which two mana enchantments better. I ran Search for Escanta in this deck uh, in the beginning in the building stage. It, it's obviously an awesome card and it fits perfectly in a graveyard deck but I found it to be too slow because I feel like I was winning control matches like this one 
Um, let's see here. I want to cast Thought Erasure, but he'll just counter it, I think. I could... I could test the waters with Opt, but I kind of want to save that. I'll just go for it. It's like kind of a must counter. It's only got five cards. Yep. We still got the mill. Um, I don't need to opt this turn. I might want to to find a fourth land though. I'll leave myself the option. Two life is not usually going to matter. So now every mission briefing can end in a thought erasure. Oh, I don't need that stop. So yeah, I'm gonna opt to look for land. Yeah. Uh, sure. We got a few mills off of it. All right, we found a land. Uh, we can't get Phoenix back yet, but soon. Radical idea is nice, actually. We'll lead on Charter Course, because that's the one we most need to resolve. Yeah. Alright, so now we have the fifth land, so we're just going to discover for any one mana spell. Preferably Duress, but Opt would be great as well. Okay. Well, those are good. Yeah. We'll keep the Duress. Well, we can do it like this. Okay, so they have Thought Erasure. Yeah. I don't know. That seems fine. So this hand can get back three phoenixes next turn and play duress. It's pretty sweet. So they have three cards. Alright, so we'll lead on this duress. They're probably feeling the pain right now. Duress is so good in this deck when it's actually playable. I love the sideboard of this deck. Like Fire Candidate's one of the best sideboard cards in standard. Duress and Thought Erasure. Haha. <laughs> okay. You got it, sir. Take nine. If I draw black, I can cast the Thought Erasure. Oh no, I'll just cast the Thought the Chart, of course. Alright, let's do it. Pew. Triple animation. This deck is fun to play. That's a sweet draw. One, two, three, four, five mana. So I can go duress, drown secrets, random other spell. So I'll lead on duress. Uh, that's sad, but nothing we can do about it. Whoa. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, so we'll play Drown Secrets. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to save this Discovery Dispersal for Dispersal side. It would kill something like Profane Procession. Uh, and I'm not looking for anything specific right now. There's the last Phoenix in the deck, there's more Radical Ideas. If I get two Drown Secrets in play, I'll consider milling them. Alright, so we have Thought Erasures for days. So if they play their land and have just Chemistry's Insight in hand... Oh, now they have Ascanta. Um, yeah, I don't want to mill them yet because of Chemistry's Insight. They can't do both of these things this turn. I'm not sure how to play this next turn. We have them at 5. 
Oh, they're tapping stuff now, which is good for us. Because that gives more power to our thought erasure. Did they play land? I don't have a game log, so I don't know. Alright, easy thought erasure lead. I can't use that Scanto yet. Oh wow, okay, so now we'll just, uh, they do gain two life, but they probably have land. Oh, we don't need land, do we? Nope. Alright, so we want to get back the Phoenix. There's still one in our library, I believe. So, discovery, we get four looks at Phoenix. Oh, there's still creeping children deck. That's nice. It's relevant in this game. Did I, I only left one in, I believe. So that's pretty lucky, actually. Uh, I want more black mana. So I'll just radical ideas. Looking for the last phoenix. Um, but more so, just don't want to mill them too much. I mean, all their mana is tied up for the rest of the game, so I could actually be milling them. And I think I will next turn. It's awkward because they might have to look for sorcery speed answers. Whereas with Thought Erasure, it's just waiting to kill them. Yeah, we're very happy when they do things sorcery speed. They would need another Vraskus Contempt this turn. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven mana. All right, that looks like a losing play. We can try to look for our last Phoenix, and then we win. Oh, they can't even play. All right. Uh, thought Erasure is a blue spell, so yeah, you can see how great this sideboard plan is. Esper seems way worse against us than we hit the Phoenix than blue white. It doesn't matter. Our opponent uh, had a lot of <laughs> cards against us in post cyborg games. So uh, I guess we'll just radical idea. We don't have any reason to mill ourselves, but we just win the game, so. I'll cast this to rest for fun. All right, we're up to four and one. We lost the first match, and then we've been doing well. A couple non-meta decks, but the last two matches were legitimate. Thought I sure I clearly own that card already. All right, here we go. Okay. 
I don't know. The sand is just weird, but put them all in. So we're still looking for the turn two, Bitter Blossom. But we also, with we find red mana. I mean, I don't know if it'll be good. Okay. Final boss, mono red. Maybe. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, I don't need to cast Radical Idea. I'd rather save two life, I think. Uh, I definitely want to upkeep Mission Briefing. I might Beacon Bolt for one. Uh, okay. Goblins. So, I have cannonades, so we'll see how this matchup goes. Uh, this looks like a Mission Briefing turn to me. Shock. I mean, mission briefing is just good, right? So I'm going to draw for turn. I'm going to play the opt. Draw mission briefing. I don't know. I think these cards are good. I'll take two damage from this. It's fine. I mean... Um, so now I'm just looking for combo cards and phoenixes. I don't know. Uh, maybe I didn't want to keep that mission briefing, but it seems good with shock available. Okay, my opponent might be mana screwed, so that's good. I can shock mission briefing shock. But I can't do that with the red man I have, so... Oh, perfect. So I'll just drown secrets. Destroy target and colorless not land permanent. I'll just hold shock open for like a Legion War boss type thing. I need a man. I don't know if I need to stop there or not. I definitely want one on my upkeep. Um, I'll just save some life. I know what everyone's gonna say, like, sure, you can beat Mono Rhythm when they're mana screwed, but we'll see. <laughs> um, what do I want to do this turn? I might just Beacon Bolt, because I don't have Phoenixes or anything yet, so this is more of a setup turn. Uh,. Yeah, we're just going to bacon and radical idea, and then maybe next turn we'll have phoenixes. Yeah. But this game is looking pretty much over. Um, so this is a matchup where creeping chill is good. Um, I don't know, I'll have to figure out how to board to get the cannonades in. And the shocks. Probably cut some of the random mission briefings and radical ideas. Well, Beacon Bolt's not that good. I'll leave one in. Maybe. Do we hit anything? Nothing yet. Oh, my poor upkeep stop. Okay, we have Discovery. We have mission briefing into mission briefing into something. So that'll be pretty good. We'll just do that. I didn't use it on upkeep like intended, but oh well, we're just turbo milling. There's one. It's a real. Bye bye. Mission briefing. Sometimes it's tempting to keep good cards on top, but when you're just turbo milling like this, you just mill everything. Just get closer to more phoenixes. Uh, we have one more spell we're playing. It's fine. So now, uh, I think I'll just discovery. I could shock the uh, skirk. 
I'm not really sure. It seems hard to lose if we shock, right? Did I hit any phoenixes though? One. It's a little lame. I mean, if our opponent can't do anything, we're not going to lose. Like every turn, we're building more advantage, so. How many cards in my library? 33. Halfway. Probably get another Phoenix or two next turn. Do I need upkeep stop? No, but good habit. Go for turn. This game is uh, a little silly. We'll just do stuff. Got our opponent. Get on with the game too. Main. Um, I guess turret, of course, is a little better. Okay, we get to be at 20. Two phoenixes in the bottom 18 cards. So this game would have been potentially a little hard if our opponent had a real draw. I mean, we played a lot of shocks. Alright, let's see how our sideboard plan works. Uh, fire candidate, I think their best thing is uh, Siege Gang Commander. So, boom. Let's see if I can fit the shocks in there. Uh, I don't actually like Select a Snare in this matchup. It's fine game one, but it's not the best card. So, uh, I don't want Beacon Bolts. Uh, sometimes I keep one to hedge, but. Most likely I can come big stuff with like a candidate and a shock. Uh, hopefully I don't get red mana screwed. It's very likely. Run away steam can, we can link Phoenix. What else could I have? Alright, I need to cut three cards. Definitely a radical idea. Maybe two of those. Um. I think a mission briefing. Just because it's mana intensive. I can't be right though. I, I'm, I'm leaning between. I mean, I can't cut a shock, right? I have eight red cards now. Phoenix doesn't count. So if I get red mana screwed, that's bad. Well, I'm just going to run it. Like, we use a shock early to stay alive, we use cannonade to clean up. If that game plan works, then we'll probably win. If we miss on red mana, we'll just have to rely on our normal phoenix plan. Alright, we've got the cannonades, we've got no red mana, but I think we can dig for it. Chart of course I like. Um, so next turn we have three looks for red. Well, draw step plus three looks. Okay. Um, Goblin Trash Master is a card. Red mana or drown secrets or bust. Actually, opt is good, I guess. Um, I really wish it was Sulfur Falls so that we didn't telegraph the cannonade, but it's going to be fine either way because we have two. question is do I want that opt? And I think the answer is almost always yes. Opt is the reason this deck exists. Wouldn't be playable without opt. Alright, so our cannonade will get value either way. There you go. Maybe I could have tanked a little to make him, like, think it was like a mission briefing type turn. Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. 
but oh nice okay so we'll see what they do I want to do this in their combat step so I don't use the mana as well I don't know how this is stop maybe it's automatic no pirates right I'm liking the four candidates on the board for this matchup in for Selesnia. Wow, we're just going to wreck our opponent here. Is that even worth it? Sack two goblins to play a goblin war chief. I can't imagine it is. Alright, now that we're in their attack step, so the mana is not going to do anything. Or, I mean, maybe they could, like, lightning strike us, but who cares? Okay. Um, I think just a radical idea to start because we don't we're not looking for specific. Well, I would have played discovery over, it, but we don't have a card to discard to drown to card of course. Like we will discard the scraping show if we don't find a phoenix, but I want a better chance at a phoenix. All right, this game is looking very good. Fire cannon is a sweet card. It's kind of like Volcanic Fallout, but like way better actually. And that card was playable. It's weird how your opinions of cards can change based on the context of their format. This deck could not splash double red for Volcanic Fallout at all. Alright, that's a relevant card, so we're going to start drawing secrets. Aw, oh, that's sad. Okay, so I don't want to tap the red mana. Um, so play land, uh, I don't need to do anything right now, technically, so I won't. I want an upkeep stop though. I might be able to get back some phoenixes next turn. Go down to 12, maybe they play another chain whirler. Alright, we're going to opt, maybe I should have opted on my turn, oh, well, that would have been a good reason to opt on my turn, um, oh man, one, two, three, I'll just draw, shock, that's nice. Let me see if there's a phoenix yet. No. Four mana available. Um, I can't play both of these in one turn, so I still can't kill the chain whirler. I need to decide what to do here. I'm leaning towards radical idea. Oh jeez, I have too much mana, right? I want to tap one of these and not. I think there's two chills in the deck. There's one. Alright, we found a phoenix, so we'll opt next turn. We have shock up, I guess. I don't know what our opponent's hand is, like stuff like rekindling phoenix and uh, siege gang commander. Banefire. I don't know how the build goblins. So many options. Uh, I think we'll just shock that. We can take the two damage though to make it easier to trigger our phoenix. I think that's worth it. It's like a calculated risk. Um, if I draw mission briefing I would use it this turn so I'll upkeep the opt. Oh I need to be careful not to step the red. Red mana would be good. I would take Sulfur Falls, but no Steam Vents. Shock. Ah. Uh, sadly, no. Just want blue spells. Draw. Okay. 
So we're gonna radical idea. Then you go to my main phase. I'm not sure how many phoenixes I'm getting. Two? Wow, oh, this hand is rough. I need to just beat down. If I had any blue spell, I would save a blocker. But it's not guaranteed we can get phoenix back next turn. We need to save this cannonade now for a potential siege gang commander. And potentially, uh, hopefully pair it with spells that reanimate our phoenixes. This game is looking gonna, like it's going to actually be close now since we have bricked on the last like five draw steps. Um, how many radical ideas are left? Two? Oh, we brought one out. Ooh, that's not good. Oh crap. Well now we have to block. Oh, this is so sad. We have another red finally, but... Alright. What does this do? Plus one, plus one, and destroy artifacts. Just do damage to a creature. Sure. Well, this one's close. Just need any blue spell. How many chills are left? At least two, I think. Yet, yeah, oh, just one. When I made a smart play. Ah. Uh, we will block the trash master if they attack. Alright, we're happy with that attack. Come on, any spell. That's blue. Oh, wow. Alright, we're hanging in there. It's tough because we it's unlikely we combo kill our opponent. They have seven mana plus Siege Gang. This puts us in trouble. But if they have not that, if we find me a mission briefing, we'll actually cast a creeping chill at the end of a chain. They could just have like shock. Can <laughs> fire for five, yeah. All right. Well, that game was very pathetic. Our opponent didn't do that much, and we didn't. We did even less. Um, I'm considering taking out a couple shocks. The cannonade does that job so well that I actually think we just need to keep our deck blue. Uh, I'm gonna try this slightly modified version. We're on the play, so that's good. Oh, I wanna get this win. I thought I had it in the previous game. Just hit four lanes in a row at the end of the game. Because once we find one blue spell there, it changes into more blue spells, so we would have been able to jump block every turn and hit them with one Phoenix per turn. Eesh. Uh, it's the clunker. Well, I'm gonna try it. We don't have cannonade. And we have to take damage from our lands, most likely. So I'm going to lead on Discovery, looking for Cannonade and land. Alright. Now just Cannonade. Do I want Tron Catacomb? 
No, I'm gonna find more lands probably. Oh, the shock lands. I can play one of them next turn, but not both. I might have to take two more damage. Uh, I don't have a one-drop right, so no mission briefing next turn. Probably just chart a course and tap lane. I lost last game with a fiery cannon in my hand. It's so sad. Main discovery. Okay. I don't need the blue spell, but I'll take drown secrets. So the next turn, I'm just gonna chart a course. I have to hope our opponent doesn't pressure us that fast. It's looking like we're not going to interact until turn 5. I do still want to consider the upkeep mission pretty right. Uh, if we mill any red spells at any point, that'll be a big game. Alright, so next turn will be scary, but as long as we don't die, we can clear the board on turn 5, probably. Opt. So next turn I'll have four mana with a chance to look for land. Oops. Oh, this is a tight margin. I think I'll opt this turn to save the two life. Two, three, four. I could be taking a ton of damage. I just need to find. I just need to mill a cannonade basically, or draw one. There are four of them. Forty-five cards. 3, 2, Menace. Well, that dies to Cannonade. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That leaves at 7. Okay, that leaves at 6. But we're happy to get cards out of their hand. We can still mill Creeping Chills. Bane Fire is not lethal yet. Okay, Opt. Mill 2. Oh boy. Alright, let's see what we hit. So I'm gonna mission briefing. Well, basically, the mission briefing has to hit cannonades, so we don't have time for this opt. Alright, there's a fifth land. So, if I go through my draw step. can draw step mission briefing mills four. I think that's the best bet. I have a lot of looks at a cannonade. And a phoenix. Oh. So I failed. Oh man. Oh man. No red spells. Somehow. Wow, that's brutal. Is there an opt in there? So I'll do this. Ah, oh, come on, Magic Arena. I need to hit, like, Creeping Chills and stuff now. Oh, I do have a Shock. Okay, that's good. I don't know. I'm just playing stuff. One, two, three, four, five damage in play. I get two Phoenixes. Man. Alright, I beat the rope. Uh, still no cannonades in sight. We've gone through 27 cards. Oh man, we're getting the raw deal here. All right, let's block some stuff. That's just a creature. These are all the same. We're at four, so Bane Fire kills us. Oh man, we didn't hit Creeping Chill or Cannonade. It's brutal. The top half of the deck. Uh, I think we would win this matchup more often than not with the Cannonades, but not this time. Oh man, it's just devastating. So, there's four wins.
Uh, we lost the two red decks. The second red deck I really felt favored, but didn't work out that time. Any Creeping Chill or any Cannonade would have won us that game. Because on the following turn, we were basically guaranteed to hit more of each. Uh, Alright, so that's the video. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the deck. I'll try to post another one where I actually get the five wins, but uh, not bad for my first attempt. Thanks.